the burnt egg roll. <laughs> like I've been dibbling, dabbling in some mushrooms like this year, you know, like I've done them a couple years ago for the first time. But like this year, I, I, I started taking them a little bit more and trying to get into that. Like, but that definitely when I took mushrooms like this year, like um, it definitely helped me kind of like get more like. Uh, less egotistical more like I guess feelings of love you know which I smoke a lot of weed but that was like a different level the mushrooms like ego I'm, death they call that <laughs> yeah ego death yep and yeah. it's true you like real. just say hey I'm not important I'm just literally a chain in this big you mm -hmm. know exactly ongoing chain link and it's just like man we're all we're all connected in this way that without uh, you know without realizing that you're missing out on a lot of cool a lot of cool connections yeah have, have you guys had any like uh psychedelic experiences about five hours ago <laughs> yeah it's probably still twinkling in our eyes did you see it <laughs> yes yeah we made some chocolates and uh shared those with some friends oh like the it's psilocybin the psilocybin like chocolates yeah, yeah. oh okay uh, I, nice nice it's finally making kind of like a a long overdue appearance to it's not like everybody was aware of it, but now it's kind of like in the spotlight a little bit more. And I think that's so important because of what you said earlier. It's the it's the ability to open up your conscious. And I think everybody in, in, in the world should try it at least once, you know, and I'm not like trying to push this on everybody. Like, hey, you got to go do this. But man, I tell you, if you haven't done it, you're you're kind of missing like a whole spectrum of, of life, I feel like. Because mm -hmm. it just opens up your your mind to how big it all is and how connected it all is. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. I was gonna say like you can read about it. Like I've read many books about like the spiritual and like the oneness, but to actually feel it, feel it. Like I feel like psychedelics is such a like a important piece, like you said. And there's like I. I still haven't tried like LSD and DMT, but that's another level that I want to like get to soon, Grand sooner than later. To. Yeah. No, I think mushrooms is probably the best way to start. I mean, it's natural. It's God given. Uh, it's been proven that it's been around for thousands of years and used throughout civilization for different purposes, but it's, it's healing. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it's, it's both uh, mentally healing. It can be, I guess maybe physically healing for some people, not necessarily the, the psychedelic compound, but um, there's a lot of new science coming out about just some of these mushrooms that have been sitting under our feet for thousands of years and they, they heal. Yeah. In fact, the largest organism in the world is a colony of mycelium mushrooms in Oregon, if I'm not uh, yeah, mistaken. It's, it's a honey mushroom that is growing over three and a half miles or something like that. It's freaking nuts. Yeah, it's you can Google this shit. We're not making it up. Yep. <laughs> Just type in largest living organism on the planet, and it's a honey mushroom in Oregon. Yeah. And yeah. they have a consciousness. Mushrooms have a consciousness, 100%. Yeah. I don't know about all that, but it sounds cool. <laughs> I, I was, talk to him, okay? Just yeah. take my word for it. The Lord's here.